station and other public television stations. Some people hustle pool, some people hustle cars, then there's that man you've heard about, the one who hustles stars. Jack Horkheimer, star hustler, director of Miami's Space Transit Planetarium. Our episode for this week, Monday, March 17th, through Sunday, March 23rd, is Will Comet Halley's crossing Earth's orbit on the first day of spring affect the first National Vernal Equinox egg balancing experiment? And now, here to tell you all about tonight's sky and the biggest show of all, the universe, your star hustler, Jack Horkheimer. Greetings, greetings, fellow comet gazers and potential egg balancers. And just a reminder that a most remarkable coincidence occurs this year on the first day of spring. Believe it or not, on Thursday, March 20th, the day of the vernal equinox, that is, the first day of spring, Comet Halley will cross the orbit of our Earth. And if you haven't seen Halley's Comet yet, well, for Pete's sakes, get out early. Every clear morning, about an hour and a half before sunrise, far from city lights, and look southeast, just above the horizon, and there you'll see the great comet still growing day by day by day. But what exactly is the first day of spring? Well, let's take a look at the scientific term, vernal equinox. Vernal comes from the Latin and means green, and equi in Latin means equal. Nox means night. Green for spring and equal night, meaning that this is one of two days of the year when the hours of darkness, that is nighttime hours, are approximately equal to hours of daylight. In other words, it is the first day of spring for us, the vernal equinox in the northern hemisphere. And the precise moment of the equinox occurs at the precise moment when the sun crosses the celestial equator, which is simply an imaginary extension of the Earth's equator out into space. In other words, if you stood on the Earth's equator at either the first day of spring or autumn at high noon, the sun would be directly over your head and your shadow would be directly beneath you. In other words, you'd have no shadow whatsoever. And this year, the precise moment that the sun crosses the equator is 2203 universal time, which translates into 503 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 203 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, as we told you last week, this year, we're going to see if there's any truth to an old folk tale which says that only on the equinoxes can you balance an uncooked egg unsupported on its skinny end. And we want you all across America and Canada to see if you can get eggs to balance on their skinny ends on Thursday, March 20th. Now write your results, positive or negative, including the time you try to balance your eggs and the time you do balance, if indeed you do balance them, and the time when your eggs fall over and where you're located on Earth. In other words, Los Angeles, New York, Atlanta, etc. Send your egg results to Star Hustler Egg Balance, WPBT-TV, Post Office Box 2, Miami, Florida, 33261. Your answers will be computer tabulated and will give you the results in an upcoming episode. And by the way, you can try to balance your eggs either at high noon on the 20th, according to one tradition, or at the precise moment that the sun is on the equator which will be your local equivalent of 5.03 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I just wonder if the coincidence of Comet Halley's crossing Earth's orbit on the vernal equinox will have anything to do with our egg balancing results. And let me just warn you that balancing an egg McMuffin on its end does not count. Furthermore, in closing, may I just say to all of you hens out there from sea to shining sea, that the eyes of America are upon you. So get with it, ladies, and keep looking up. In your area, check or call your new... The Carl Zeiss Company is for medicine, research, industry... WHRO-TV, Channel 15, Hampton, Norfolk, Virginia. ...and other public television stations.